Okay, hey, this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Today's the 19th, June 2018, and uh, we got a, a real nice day here. It's kind of overcast, and it's warm, a little bit of breeze, and it's nice. It's a nice day to get some stuff done. And what I want to talk about today is being an opportunist, an opportunist. You know, a lot of times words uh, take on a negative connotation because uh, of the people that become opportunists. But here we are uh, starting our new phase of our farming career as homesteaders. So normally what we would do, have going is, is we would be getting up as early as we can and just running as hard as we can to produce as much of something as we can to, to convert that into dollars. And along the way you have mistakes happen and, you know, it, it, it's not exactly family friendly sometimes, things like that, you know. But we're embarking on a new model and that's the homestead model where we're producing enough for us and then a few friends, you know, a few family and friends, not much, don't really need to. And then our dollars will come from someplace else. So we're not, we're no longer commercial farmers. So with that become, uh, comes a, uh, a subject that's near and dear to my heart is, uh, being an opportunist. <laughs> that sounds kind of bad, but I had a situation that's been going on for about a week now that I've noticed. I'm standing where our bore pen used to be. And you can see this is really nice, really nice looking dirt. We took out all the fences here and we've put some concrete up here so we can park vehicles, have a wash rack, which we've desperately needed. We haven't washed vehicles since we've been commercial farmers. We just don't have time for that. But when we took this out, it opened up an area with tremendous dirt on it. And I took three uh, 10 yard dump trucks out of here and moved them up to my area up there. You can see them up there and piled them. And I'm gonna let it compost down for a year before I get it spread out. But what was left is this stuff that's down low and uh, it was pretty fertile stuff. And these plants here are pumpkin plants from uh, last fall, we got a, a couple truckloads of pumpkins from somebody that uh, you know was at the end of the season and they were mushy and, and then we fed them to our pigs, but a lot of them sprouted here. They didn't sprout here, they sprouted up in my composting area. And they're beautiful plants. So I'm looking at this area here, which I had thought I'm just going to feather it into the lawn here and then start mowing it. But that takes quite a bit of work and it's very, very fertile. So I decided that I'm just going to make a little annex to our family garden here. And I had all these beautiful pumpkin plants that came up and the lady up there on the peninsula can grow some pumpkins. They were nice big ones. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to disperse those pumpkins those pumpkin plants right down in this area and then come out here as far as we can before we run out of them. And then the rest of the area, we'll just put potatoes in. Uh, potatoes take up a lot of space in the garden and we just thought we'd do them out here. They'll pull a lot of the nutrient out of the soil. Um, it, I think it'd be a little tough if I just seeded this with grass seed and tried to get out here and mow it. I think it'd be mushy. And we have another situation here that I have to deal with before I can do that is the amount of water that comes down off of this barn roof right there comes down off of that eave but it'll drop right down here and then these plants can utilize that all summer long so we won't have to we won't have to water these they'll totally cover the ground and these vines if you've ever fooled around with them you can you can take them where you want them to go you know you can climb things with them if you want to and it's it's good it's a lot of fun to get all these pumpkins. For us, kids get to use some of them. Some of them go to the house to get canned. Pies get made out of them. Take them downtown and smash them in the road. Throw chunks of them at cars going by. All kinds of fun stuff like that. And the rest of them can go to the uh, 
to the pigs for feed. But as a homesteader, you want to be looking for targets of opportunity all the time. Things that you can, you know, different things, like here's these rogue plants growing up in the compost area, and here's this patch of soil that I didn't plan on. Hey, and a water supply, let's put them together. I don't really need pumpkins, but I can always use pumpkins and make it happen. It's going to take us total an hour to make this happen. We would have had to do something with this land, this property anyway, this uh, patch of ground anyway. And this is going to, you know, it's going to be fun to watch. These guys get to do it, um, which is a, a learning experience. So there you go. This is Mark from Baker's Green Acres. Remember, anyone can farm.